When it comes to shopping for cookware, there's a lot of different options out on the market. Price point is important, durability is important, safety is important, and how good does it cook is important. So the team at Hexclad have basically took the best of all the pans on the market and combined it into a hybrid pan that I found has replaced every other pan I've had in the kitchen. Stainless steel is great for searing and high temp sauteing, however, Getting this the right temperature using the light and frost test isn't common. Getting this non-stick can be somewhat challenging. Cast iron is great for searing a steak and getting that perfect crust. However, this entire thing gets hot. So handling it isn't the easiest or the most safe option. I have purchased countless of the competitors non-stick pans over the years and they're great except for high heat cooking. At high temperatures, these just don't stand up. And the longest I've actually gone is maybe eight months to a year with heavy cooking. But the difference between this non-stick and the hex clad non-stick is hex clad can go temperatures super high and you will not degrade the surface of the pan. A lot of cases when you're working on getting a high quality sear, your go-to is gonna be a stainless steel pan. But at lower temperatures, that pan may not give you the same non-stick applicability. The hex clad pan is a perfect hybrid of the two. Yes, you can do high heat searing, but it's also delicate enough to handle an egg. Ultimately, all three pans have their advantages. A non-stick is non-stick, so you can fry an egg and don't have to worry about it sticking to the pan. A cast iron skillet is gonna give you a perfect crust, a perfect sear, and allow you to get even cooking over high temperatures. A stainless steel pan is gonna give you another option for high heat cooking over saute. However, there's drawbacks to all of them, especially if you have an induction or a flat top stove. What if you could combine all the pros and none of the cons into one one pan. Now let's talk about the Hexclad brand. So as the name insinuates, the design in the pan, that Hex design is actually where all the magic happens. The design is based on peaks and valleys. The peaks, they're gonna give you a perfect sear, which is similar to cast iron, especially when you're doing a steak. The valleys, which are actually coated in a Japanese non-stick coating that's infused with diamond dust, that's gonna give you your non-stick. Anybody who's used a cast iron skillet knows when you grab that handle, it's definitely gonna be hot. However, these stay cool handles, and that riveting, A, it's gonna stay cool and it's also not gonna get loose. This pan is also dishwasher and oven safe, which is actually unheard of in the pan industry. One of the huge benefits to a hex clad pan is how easy it is to clean. In a lot of situations, I've just ran hot water over it with a sponge and it'll clean that right up. One of my favorite features of the Hexclad pan is its ability to work on multiple different surfaces. I have a portable stove that I use for creating content that works well, but at home, I have an electric stove. The way an induction stove top works is the heat pulsates. It goes high and then it goes low. So if you do a temperature check and you're at a perfect 400 degrees for a steak, by the time you grab that steak, that temperature may drop down and you'll end up not getting a good crust. The beauty of the peaks and valleys in the hex clad pan for one you maintain the temperature in the pan for extended periods of time but you also get even cooking so if you're cooking an a5 and you absolutely cannot ruin it and want to get a perfect crust this is the pan to use so if you have an electric or an induction cooktop you'll get the same performance that you would as if you were to cook on an open flame. Question I often get asked about the Hexclad pans are do they last they look absolutely gorgeous brand new but after heavy continuous use, what do they look like? This has been my daily driver for about the past six months. In an odd way, I actually think it cooks better now that I've broken it in. One of the things that I was absolutely impressed with is I've had this upwards of 500, 600 degrees over an open grill. Stay cool handle has remained cool and you see on the edges it incorporates some of those stainless steel qualities that we know and love. Do you get what you pay for? I think no, I think you get more than what you pay for. At the end of the day, this is appropriately priced, but when you add in a lifetime warranty and the durability, this is literally the last set that you'll buy. And for someone like me who does a lot of cooking professionally and at home personally, I have not had to buy another pan. Personally, I have bought dozens of nonstick pans. That coating wears off. The durability of the hex clad pan is unparalleled and it also comes with a lifetime warranty. So if something were to happen with this, you can go ahead and get it taken care of. If you are looking for what I like to call a heirloom piece, which is a piece that you'll buy and use for the remainder of your life and quite possibly pass on down to someone else, I would definitely grab a hex clad. This is the roasting pan, Thanksgiving turkey. This is an absolute must. 
applications are really endless. This is completely removable. Still have that signature hex clad bottom. And maybe the most important thing is, are the pans fun to cook with? At the end of the day, for whatever reason that you cook, the tools that you use, you have to enjoy. You have to become one with the tools that you're using. So the feel, the weight, the consistency I get every time I use a hex clad pan, ease of use, how it looks, how it feels after use. It reminds me of an old school stainless steel watch that over time it develops character. At the end of the day, it's an entire cheat code. Feel free to start out with one or two pieces that are catered to how you cook or what you cook, and then build your collection from there. Go to www.hexclad.com and tell them Bo sent you. One take.